What is happening, everybody? Welcome back to Tavian's World of Reptiles. I hope you are all doing well and taking care of yourselves. Um, so this weekend, I went out to uh, Count of Camping, and it was a really great experience. I went out to uh, uh, Oregon Country Fairgrounds. It's just kind of an event that happens every summer that I really enjoy uh, going to. But we had a nice little retreat, uh, pre-summer retreat out there, and it was nice to just kind of get away and reset because, you know, life can really wear you down sometimes, but sometimes you just need a reset. So I got to do that this weekend. Um, however, the right before I left for that, something extremely stressful happened happened um, and it caused that weekend to be a little bit more stressful because I had to continuously think about that while I was away uh, because it was an ongoing thing which I will talk about in a minute but I am back in the reptile room um, just kind of running around checking on some animals um, and I was checking in on uh, Rumpelstiltskin my hypopoa uh, and I figured I was to go ahead and show you what I am seeing with him right now so let's check him out Oh, there we go. Rumpo, can you show everybody your face? Can you show everybody your face? There you are. Hello. Oh, hello, beautiful. Can you show everybody your face? Huh? Uh huh. No, you guys can sort of see. Either way, there we go. Rumple still skin here uh, is currently deep, deep in blue. So I'm gonna go give him a really good mist down up his humidity so that he can get all that off in one fell smooth swoop. So uh, that's what's happening there. But uh, another thing that's happened right before I left, not long before I left, was this. Um, this is Shere Khan's enclosure. Um, and as you can see, uh, there's this cardboard here. There's no point. I, it's pointless. I mean, he's not even in there right now. And that's because he broke his glass. So let me explain. So we have these two pieces here. Uh, essentially what happened is, as you saw, I have these sticks that are in between here uh, because it keeps that space from happening. There's a huge space here. The person who built these did not quite uh, get that right. But I had those sticks there. Either way, I left one out uh, one day and Shere Khan pushed between the glass um, and, you know, pushed it open. But as he was pushing himself out uh, between the space, uh, one of the glass pieces broke. So um, I tried the cardboard thing it didn't really work didn't really care to keep him in so he is not in there right now because of that he is hanging out in this tub up here with a water dish so hide uh, I have to get open right now so if he wants to he can come out um, but unfortunately uh, until I get that glass fixed he is up here in this temporary uh, tub set up for him um, until I can get that fixed. So that was a pretty stressful uh, thing to have to deal with. But also over here, we have Luna's enclosure. This is the biggest stressor uh, of all. So I uh, right before I left, uh, uh, I was at work and Ashley had contacted me and was like, hey, did you leave Luna out to roam? And I was like, nope, I sure didn't. So Luna was out and I ended up coming home from work. Uh, and I have looked everywhere, guys. I have literally looked uh, everywhere. Like I've looked everywhere then there's not very many spaces in this room this is what i loved most about it so it's like you know anything could be out and i don't have to really worry about it i'm not really thinking about it uh, everything on the ground is good all there's nothing underneath the walls like it was all perfect um and there's like all the three enclosures where a snake could get under i've looked under all of them i've looked in everything and luna was not to be found um, and I've been very confused and I don't understand what happened because usually Luna doesn't even venture very far from uh, her enclosure. So I'm very confused as to what inspired her to get moving further. But um, after uh, looking literally everywhere um, that I can think of, I've literally looked everywhere unless I am missing one space somewhere that I am just not thinking of. I have literally looked everywhere in this room um, and I cannot find Luna. So I am thinking that she has done something that I would never expect from her, especially with her neurological issues and how difficult it is for her to move um, and pull herself up and climb. Uh, but I think that she has um, somehow uh, made her way up. I don't know how, don't know how, made her way up and 
like pull this board down because this kind of and we leave like we can pull on that and that's you know I pull her down and pull herself up in there and if that's the case that means she is somewhere up uh in the crawl space of uh, the garage i'm able to assume that she would stay somewhere over in this area because of the heat uh that is rising from the ground uh however uh, anything can happen, you know, she could, I don't know if she would venture over on that side, because over there, there's nobody living over there right now, it's the other side of the duplex, or right now on the other side of the, this is another garage, and then the, uh, the duplex, uh, but, I, so I don't think she would, I would, smart, why, you would think that she would just want to stay near where there's warmth, that she wouldn't venture too far into the cold areas, um, but I am hoping that she is still just kind of, like, around here in this area, or even, I'm not sure if this cross space actually goes over my house or if it's going to be a divider or something. I don't really know what a cross space looks like on the inside. Uh, but if uh, if she's in there, I'm going to have to get up there. I'm going to have to crawl around for her. Uh, but for right now, I do have... I do have a, mouse, um, a rat that is thawing up here, um, and I do plan to take that maybe and just like set it inside of a box inside of this crawl space so that uh, if she comes to eat it, she will eat the rat, then curl up uh, inside of the box and just stay there. So when I come and check, uh, then I can just pull her down and, and get her. So that's my plan, that's my hope. Um, I really hope it works out. If I don't, I'm going to give it a couple of days of hoping maybe she'll just come down on her own because um, it would be close to feeding time. Next weekend would be a uh, feeding day for them, I guess. Well, no, not for the bigger ones. I guess they would have to go another week. But maybe she would still, I'm going to be thawing a bunch of food feeders then. Maybe she'll come down during that time uh, and get drawn out uh, uh, with the scent of all the different feeders that will be thawing at the time. But I don't know. I don't know. So I'm really, you know... Um, I'm just kind of at a loss. I'm kind of at a loss. I don't really know what to do or what really to expect. Um, I, I, I'm really kind of blown away because, like I said, she's just never been a super active snake. She's never really ventured very far past her enclosure, yet I have looked everywhere around it, everywhere in this room, and there is nowhere, no sight of her. And she's a big yellow snake. She should not have been hard to find her. Um, so it was when I was at work, I didn't even think about it. I didn't stress about it because I was like, all right, well, she's out. You know, I'll find her easily. So to come home and not be able to find her and have not been able to find her and my girlfriend has not been able to spot her or anything. She was checking on her over the weekend, trying to come out here and see if she could find her anywhere. Didn't find her. And the fact that that didn't happen uh, adds much more stress to it. And now I'm more than positive that she had to have found that way to get herself up, uh, up there. So um, I, I don't understand it. I would never have thought that. This little anything up here could have been something that would have helped her get up there, especially with her neurological issues. Uh, but somehow, I think she has. So uh, I'm going to hope that this trick with the big rat works. Uh, we'll just putting it in the box up there, and hopefully she curls up in the box. If not, I'm going to have to call up there, and I'm going to have to look around, which is going to be probably the most terrifying thing I ever have to do. Because, I, first of all, I do not like tight, small spaces. I'm kind of, um, you know, claustrophobic, as well as the fact that I don't like house spiders, and I assume there's going to be a lot of those up there, and so I'm just going to have to really just kind of overcome a lot of uncomfortable feelings and fears and stuff and just kind of breathe my way through it. I hope I don't have a panic attack while I'm up there, uh, but either way, I'm really just hoping this first thing just works so I can just get her back. So there are some stresses. Stresses, broken glass, uh, mysteriously missing snakes, uh, displaced carpet python, uh, you know, who's stuck in the tub until I get the glass fixed. Lots of stress. It is not always easy going in the reptile room as much as I would hope it could be. It is my place of peace. It is my place of serenity. But stressful things do happen here sometimes. And uh, and I, as their owner of these animals, I just have to flow with it. And I have to figure out what I can do to make it right. So that's all today. Just wanted to keep you guys updated on that. Uh, keep me in your thoughts. Hope Luna shows back up. Hopefully this works. Hopefully I don't have to call up there. And if I do, I hope I find her. So... You all take care, love yourselves, love your loved ones, love your reptiles, and you guys keep spreading those herbs.